Greetings, M squared here, and today we're going to talk about some modeling problems for quadratics. So we're still using quadratic functions, which is our, you know, x squared functions. We're going to use rectangles today, so we're going to, it's all about rectangles today. So we want to make sure we know how to find the area of a rectangle. It's base times height, so base times height. So that's something that you should have memorized. You might have memorized length times width when you were in, uh, younger, but we got to know area of a rectangle is base times height. That's just a must-have in your brain. So let's read the problem. A company offers rect rectangular pool sizes with different with dimensions shown. Each pool includes a deck around it. If Carolina wants a 15-foot wide pool with a deck, how many square feet will she need to have available in her yard? So we know this is 15, and we know that whatever your width is, the length is doubled. So we know that that's going to be 30. But how much will she need? Because we've got this four-foot deck all around it. So what we do is we're going to say, well, what is this extra distance right here? Because we have to find the new. We know the pool is 2x long, but we need to find this whole length. So all along this deck, it's the same width. So if it says it's 4 here, that means it's 4 here. It's also 4 here here. So we know that this little distance and this little distance is 4. And 4 plus 4 is 8. So that means this whole side with the deck included, because we're doing with the deck included, is going to be 2x plus 4 plus 4, which is 2x plus 8. We're going to do the same thing for the width. We know that this much is 4, and we know that this much is 4. So what is this whole side? It's going to be x plus 4 plus 4, which is going to be x plus 8. And so to find our model for the area, we're going to take 2x plus 8 and multiply it by x plus 8. So we're going to say x plus 8 times 2x plus 8. I'm going to use FOIL, but some of you like the box method. Whatever you want to use, you can. We just need to get those two multiplied. So x times 2x is 2x squared. x times 8 is 8x. 8 times 2x is 16x and 8 times 8 is 64. We can clean this up a little bit because these are combinable. So we're going to get 2x squared plus 24x plus 64. This equation represents how much space or ground she will need in her backyard. Right? So if they offer pools in this dimension, that means if you wanted a 10-foot pool, you could plug in x equals 10. So that's what's nice about an equation like this is if this switches a little bit, we still have the same ratio and we can plug in the number. We don't have to do all the math every time. So we just wrote an equation that represents the area around the pool and the deck together. And now it says use the equation to find the area. I can write that down here. Prettier in with f of x. Um, now it says find the area of the pool and the deck. Well, we know that x equals 10, right? I mean 15. It said it right here, not 10. Um, so we know that the pool was 15 by 30, but they want this whole thing. So basically that means I just find f of 15, because I'm saying, well, what would that whole area be if x was 15? So I'm going to plug it in. I get 2 times 15 squared, which is 225, plus 24 times 15 which isn't in my head right now. And I am going to use my handy dandy calculator. So 2 times 225 plus 24 times 15 plus 64. And it is 874 feet squared. So she needs a little under 900 square feet of yard area for her to put that pool in. All right. We're going to try another one. Alan prints a photograph with the dimensions shown. So x is a ratio of 1 to 1.5. And I'm going to put a frame. Write a quadratic equation that represents the area of the photo and frame. OK, again, this little distance right here, what is it? It's 1 and a half inches. So I know that this is one and a half inches, and that's one and a half inches, which gives me an extra total of three inches. So this is 1.5x plus three. And then the same thing happens there. I need an extra one and a half on both sides. That gives me a 
1.5, 1.53, so this is going to be x plus 3. So when I go to write my equation for the area of the total thing, I take base times height or length times width, so I'm going to take x plus 3 times 1.5x plus 3. And then we just multiply. So x times 1.5x is 1.5x squared. 1.5 times 3, though I like to do 3 halves, so that gets me 9 halves, which is 4.5. 4.5x, and then plus 3x, and then plus 9. I can combine these right here. 1.5x squared plus 7.5x plus 9. And this is my quadratic equation that models the area of the picture and the frame. So the tricky part about these is whatever that little that little width is, you have to add it to both sides. But if you figure that out, these aren't that difficult. So good luck with that. M squared sign now.